In Chapel Hill, at the apartment complex where three Muslims were murdered Tuesday night, police going door to door as part of their investigation today. Hi there, can we ask you guys how the uh, investigation is going so far? I, I just can say we're just can canvassing, um, and that's all we're doing at the moment. Flowers in front of the apartment where the victims lived, 23-year-old Deha Barakat, his 21-year-old wife Yusor, and her 19-year-old sister Razan, who was visiting that day. Their neighbor, Craig Hicks, now facing three counts of first-degree murder. Police say their preliminary investigation shows the deaths may have been the result of an ongoing dispute over parking. One neighbor says Hicks had a reputation of being a hothead. I have seen and heard him be very unfriendly to a lot of people in this community. Yeah, Equal yeah. opportunity <laughs> anger. Another neighbor saying parking was an issue addressed by building management. I'm assuming there was parking issues, so the, um, uh, I guess, the association, I guess the condo association released this. It's not about parking. The whole world is looking in on social media, and, and they know what it's about. The 46-year-old suspect had been attending Durham Technical Community College, studying to be a paralegal. The school spokesman described him as an exemplary student who spent much of his time helping teachers and other students. But Hicks's ex-wife described him in a much different way. According to the Associated Press, the two divorced about 17 years ago. She said his favorite movie was Falling Down. <laughs> A movie about a man who goes on a violent rampage. She said he thought it was hilarious. He had no compassion at all. Investigators have confiscated the suspect's computer, which was located in his apartment. They're trying to determine if he had any anti Muslim leanings. A law enforcement source telling CNN the suspect told police he went into a blind rage after he saw a car allegedly belonging to one of the victims parked in his spot. Hicks's Facebook page did not appear to show him targeting Muslims. There were anti-religion posts. One reads, atheists for equality. And this quote, people say nothing can solve the Middle East problem, not mediation, not arms, not financial aid. I say there is something, atheism. And on January 20th, he posted this picture with the caption, yes, that is one pound, 5.1 ounces for my loaded 38 revolver. And in another post, he defends Muslims and criticizes Christians who were opposed to a planned mosque near Ground Zero, writing, quote, seems an overwhelming majority of Christians in this country feel that the Muslims are using the Ground Zero mosque plans to mark their conquest. Bunch of hypocrites. And Aaron, now that the vigil has wrapped up here at NC State University and word has started to spread about that FBI inquiry, that will certainly be welcoming news to many people here who believe what happened was indeed a hate crime.